Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick setup tour of my DIY solar setup. This is a two kilowatt uh, structure. Uh, so three panels and the other side three panels, total of six. The first setup was this one. Uh, these are Renesis panels. These are 325 watt panels. So what I did was I connected all the panels individually. Uh, so each panel's individual wire goes to the silicon wire which I have used and this goes inside uh, the flooring as well as to my actual uh, setup room and on the other side I actually have a small 160 watt panel to charge my power oak and on the other end I actually have Vari 335 polycrystalline panel so I, I went with poly because uh, Chennai actually generally is quite sunny always and poly is always cheaper so that's the reason why I went with polycrystalline so all the panels here also are connected uh, individually and all the wires go inside my uh, house now the wires that I've used are silicon DC wires uh, if you're interested in buying silicon DC wires let me know I can hook you up with a good price and I just wash the panel so every three days I I generally wash the panels uh, that depends and uh, on an average day I get to close to around 11 to 13 units so uh, which is which is actually good and then I have placed all the silicon wires inside the PVC pipe so that it, it can stay safe from the UV rays of the Sun and doesn't damage the wires now I'll tell you the reason why I connected each panels individually once we go down to the room where I have kept the batteries. So from the roof, the wires come down uh, to this uh, DC baker. I know the wires are a bit messy. I just need to pull some wires to the top so that uh, it is, stays organized. And I have used 16 amp DC breakers. So each panels have their own individual DC breakers. And then I have connected all the panels individually to the Victron charge controller. These are MPPT 7515 charge controllers. And these are Bluetooth charge controllers. Uh, to connect this, what I did was I 3D printed this, uh, this bracket so that I could place it on the, on the wooden plank. As well as I planned it such a way that I could fix a cooling fan. And then I used drywall screws to mount it to the uh, wooden plank. Now, if you want these sort of uh, mounting brackets, do let me know, I could print that off. And if you see, I have placed a flan on the other side, and then I fixed all the Victrons together uh, on the wooden plank, and I just took the wooden plank, uh, connected it to the wall. These actually are used Victron uh, Bluetooth model, which I got on a good deal. That's the reason why I'm using this individually. Now, the reason why I used fans is because in Chennai, you you, you generally hit around 36, 39 uh, on summer. And during summer, you have peak production uh, and uh, the Victrons get quite hot. That's the reason why I used fans. So all the Victrons are connected. That's the output of all the Victrons are connected to the uh, batteries parallelly. So that's the 90 amp hour battery pack which I had created or rather built. If you haven't checked the video out, I'll leave, I'll leave a link on the top. You could go check that out. Uh, you could build your own lithium ion phosphate batteries. On the other side, I have 180 amp hour uh, lithium ion phosphate cells. Even this is something that I built myself. And then I have a balance function. That's a balancer which is uh, used to balance all the uh, cells individually. I'll make a separate video on how to use a balancer. So both the battery packs are connected parallelly and uh, it gets connected to my uh, Microtech Emson 2335 inverter. I'm using this just as a dedicated inverter because I'm, I'm not going to use the uh, PWM controller which is built into it. But the reason I bought this one is because this one was cheap. I also have a grid charging off option. Now that's the relay that I have. Uh, built so i'm going to fix the relay to the output of the uh, rather uh, input of the inverter and uh, the reason why i'm going to fix this inside the uh, input is because i'm going to sense the battery voltage using the adreno and when the battery hits a certain voltage i'm going to turn on the input of the inverter so that uh, uh, the batteries are bypassed and the inverter directly runs the load 
uh, using electricity and here is where the grid charging off option comes into play so once you turn on the electricity uh, it the inverter does not charge your battery so that's something that I wanted Uh, if you see right now, it's in the UPS and once you turn on, it moves over to the mains on mode where it's bypassing the battery and the entire load of the house is running on the electricity. And at the back, you actually have the grid charging off options. So these are the couple of switches that I have that you see. So I have turned on the gr grid charging off. Um, so like I mentioned, uh, I'm getting approximately around 13 to 14 kilowatt. Uh, my battery bank is little um, less, uh, it's, it's a smaller capacity, it's not able to hold the complete production. So I'm going to add another set of batteries to this. And on the other side, if you see, I also have a small solar panel, which I showed that's a 160 watt solar panel. What I did was I connected an XT60 connector. And then that goes into the uh, other, uh, that's that's kind of a connector that's available for Power Oak. I use this to charge my Power Oak. So overall guys, this is an experimental setup. It's a DIY build. I know it's messy, but uh, it, does, it does the job quite well. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna use a bus bar and I'm gonna connect all the batteries properly. Uh, these wires would be cut down. And I'm going to connect using buzz buzz, which would be more neat, more, uh, it, it'll look good. So this is what my setup is. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.